What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Thursday, June 13th. In today's video, we have to talk about the dog rune token hitting our price point of around 0.0080. We made this prediction in yesterday's video, but something new has come up. We have a new exchange listing. We also have some recent news regarding Binance possibly listing runes on their exchange. And the most important thing at the very end of the video, I'm gonna share with you charting and analysis to share with you our predictions for the dog rune token. So with that said, let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and begin by smashing that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And most importantly, please be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email. So please be careful and invest safely. So guys and girls, let's get right into it. So yes, over the past 24 hours, we actually saw that this token literally pumped all the way to an 800 million market cap. Now this is actually quite interesting because over the past seven days, we may have seen our local bottom right around here, around 0.0057. That to me is our recent local bottom. We may not see price levels of that magnitude ever again. This may be the last time that we see that. Now, what achievements have we seen with the dog go to the moon? Well, apparently over the past 24 hours in terms of the top 100 coins, dog was ranked number one in the total top 100 trending coins. That's amazing. And I think it's because that this token is outperforming a lot of different meme coins, altcoins, and sometimes even Bitcoin itself. We even saw that the dog rune token made it not just within the top 100, but was ranked 99. So that's amazing to see that right now dog is on the front page of coin market cap. We have to talk about the trading volume that Dog Go to the Moon has had compared to other rune tokens within the ecosystem. As you can see, Dog Go to the Moon has the most trading volume than any other rune token over those past 24 hours. That's absolutely huge to see that amount of volume. Just means it's not going anywhere. Now in some recent news, another tier two centralized exchange has listed dog on their marketplace. This is one of many tier two exchanges that are allowing their customers to have access to dog. That's really important. And this is the news right here, which is Binance just two days ago was responding to somebody who was asking, hey, are you familiar with the Runes protocol? Are you aware that this is built on Bitcoin? Are you going to list any of these tokens? Are you gonna make it available for customers? And what did Richard Tang, the CEO of Binance say? Right now he's saying it's very early and also they are evaluating. This is all in due process of how they evaluate things before they end up listing the token. A couple other people were asking, hey, have you heard of Dog or the Moon or the Dog token? And one of the representatives over at Binance says, unfortunately, we cannot comment on future token listings. And I get it. Sometimes when people say something like that, they just want to avoid any legality issues. We saw what happened to ZZ from Binance, who was the former CEO. He's now in jail for, I think, like four months, which is not that long at all, you know? So just keep this in mind, it's completely the protocol, but they are aware of it, that's for sure. Okay, now let's talk about the whale wallet. So roughly around seven whale wallets decided to basically sell their dog rune token. So it's not actually a lot. I've seen like in the hundreds of millions of these whales liquidizing their token allocation. As much as you like to see that some of these people are selling, you also have to pay attention to the people that are accumulating. Some of these whales are buying a lot more of these tokens. I like to see that. Now I wanna to get to the nitty gritty and the fun part, which is the charting and analysis, but I wanna hear from Dan first, who's is another YouTuber. He says, I think dog will break into the $1 billion mark cap in the next five to 11 days. Now the current dog dip is a textbook meme coin dip within broader crypto dips. Now, if a crypto is done falling, dog will outperform markets to 1 billion in the next five days. If one more dip, It'll be the final dog shakeout before the big move. Now, this is what he's talking about. Right now, we saw this little dip right here. We could expect prices all the way up to here. Now, I wanna go into something that I mentioned yesterday, which is based on our chart. We predicted that the price would hit around 0.0080. It was just kind of in that specific zone range because of the Fibonacci retracement. There was no guarantee because of, we saw that the support level was right around here, around 7.0. And yes, it did retrace back in consolidation, but it ended up shooting right back up, hitting our price point. So you must be wondering what's gonna happen next. Well, let's go ahead and go into the charts. So this is what we're seeing right now. So over the next 16 days, we're gonna see this little trend where this dog token could possibly bounce up and down within this wedge right here until it gets really tight before it breaks out either to the upside 
or to the downside, and it's gonna still hit a support level of around 0.0070. But what's really interesting about this chart is that in one of my videos, I was actually trying to predict the future of this specific token in a head and shoulders pattern. So when I mentioned that specific pattern in this video, I started seeing something. We saw a shoulder, a head, and another shoulder. And this re region right here, the seven zero, is the neckline. And so we broke down below that, and so this was in some way, a head and shoulder pattern. But you know what's really interesting is that when I'm looking at this chart right here, I'm actually starting to notice something different, which is that right now I think we're forming a head. And this could actually be the shoulder. So this is a shoulder and this is a head and we may have another shoulder before we break to the upside. So what I'm basically saying is, this actually could be an inverse head and shoulder. I looked at it all wrong. So if this is an inverse head and shoulder, where could we expect the price to be? So let's go ahead and draw this out really quickly and please be patient with me as I draw this out. So right now, this is the shoulder, as I mentioned before, this is what we think is the headline. And what we could see is another shoulder pattern before we break to the upside. So in a way, this is a head and shoulder pattern and this is actually the neckline. And I still think to this day that we're gonna hit this specific price point of around 0.012. That's basically $1.2 billion in its market cap. I've seen that specific market cap hit in all my charts, regardless of the volatility of DOG. Now, I wanna just remind everybody, Back on May 16th, I bought roughly around 10 million of these tokens, right? And it was roughly around uh, a 250 million market cap. And this was like my second post, my second bag that I was posting live, but I actually had bought a little bit less than that around five to six million earlier on, but I ended up accumulating more. And now we hit that 700 million market cap. So right now I'm telling you, DOG is projected to hit a $1.2 billion market cap in the short term. And if you think about it, in the past 21 days, we saw that DOG has gained 410% from the all-time low to the all-time high price. And now we are only 65% away from hitting that specific price point of around a $1.2 billion market cap. So as a conclusion and statement, just like I said in yesterday's video, you're gonna experience a lot of volatility. This is part of the ride. I don't think we're gonna go down here anymore. I think we hit that local bottom. And now we're at the support level of around 7-0. As it's seen here many, many times, we just got liquidated of these paper hands. Now the diamond hands, retail investors and investors that are institutional are just accumulating as much as they can. But as you've seen on our chart, I do expect that we are in an inverse head and shoulder pattern. That's the crazy thing that's in this video and I'm so happy to share it with all of you who've been paying attention on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just want to remind everybody I really want you to support this channel as much as possible and it really means a lot that you smash the like button and most importantly subscribe to the channel don't forget to look and join our patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and trades regarding dog go to the moon until then I'll see you guys and girls next time